Apple CEO Tim Cook. A pwn big question for investors in Apple and its suppliers is whether the new iPhone 8 models, which launched Friday, are selling well, or whether Apple fans and customers are holding out for the high-end iPhone X, which launches in November. Short lines at Apple stores and other retailers last week suggested that the iPhone 8 launch may have been a dud. But one highly respected analyst is telling investors to relax. The KGI securities analyst Ming Kai Kuo wrote on Wednesday in a research note seen by Business Insider that iPhone 8 first weekend sales were stable, not weak, and that the market may be excessively negative on iPhone 8 first weekend sales. KGI Securities thinks Apple's Asian factories are building about the same number of iPhone 8s as they are the more expensive iPhone 8 Pluses, for a total of 16 million to 18 million iPhone 8 models this quarter. The report relies on data from Luckalytics to suggest the more expensive iPhone 8 Plus is slightly more popular so far. Kuo writes that most analysts tend to look for signals from retailers for first weekend sales, like people camping out outside Apple stores ahead of a product launch. But those sales are typically for unlocked devices, not the iPhone sold on installment plans by carriers and other retailers. While we acknowledge that queues outside SIM-free channels have been much shorter than after previous iPhone launches, we see stable first week in demand for the iPhone 88 Plus in carrier channels, the note said. Most of those camping outside unlock edifice outlets are presumably hardcore Apple fans and heavy users, whose plan this year is to gear up for the iPhone XKGI's Apple Insight notes target investors in companies that count Apple as a customer, companies like Foxconn's parent. On high, which assembles iPhones, as well as those that manufacture the complicated components that go into them. Kuo's takeaway from early iPhone 8 sales Apple supply chain shares have corrected because the market is excessively negative on iPhone 88 plus first week in sales, he wrote. He recommends investing in companies such as Han Hai, Largan Precision, and Chunghua Precision in Taiwan. But he says his findings don't imply iPhone 88 Plus shipment momentum will remain stable. We believe this needs to be monitored closely going forwards, he wrote. See also the big question for Apple is how many people are waiting for the iPhone X.